All right, we are officially back at Universal. It's been a long time for me. We, I almost thought time. for a second I didn't even go to Halloween Horror Nights this year, but that was the last time I was here, was Halloween Horror Nights with Todd and Debbie. And guess what? Josh made a video and never posted it. Maybe he can throw in a few clips if he can find them. <laughs> every time every time I went, it was raining. The scare zones were just... Excuses! Listen, excuses, everybody, everybody will agree with me. The excuses. scare zones were terrible. No. But let, let's go tackle Universal. All right, so I'm sure everybody knows because... It ends on April 24th, and today is the 21st. But Mardi Gras is going on right now, which is kind of cool. This lady has painted her dog purple. I would assume for Mardi Gras. It's uh, it's not as busy as I would have expected uh, so far, especially here at the at the beginning of the park. What? It feels really busy to oh, me. Oh, you think it's busy? Yeah. I mean, the wait times but, were a little longer. Well, yeah. <laughs> So I don't think that we did any Mardi Gras stuff last year, even though they did have it. But I've never been over here during Mardi Gras. Oh, you haven't? Never. Oh, wow. I've never had any of the food, never seen the parade, nothing. Well, it's very much just like any other festival where they have uh, a bunch of food booths here where you can get some food. The big one here, I guess, are the beignets. On this side over here, we've got uh, potatoes, the twisted taters, basically something that you can get at uh, Halloween Horror Nights, which are always really great. A twisted Frank, too. Oh, a twisted Frank. That's weird. Oh my gosh, you know what else that we've never done here? What? We've never walked into this Christmas store. Huh. We haven't. <laughs> Yes, we are now. I just want a Harry Potter Christmas tree because there are so many Harry Potter ornaments. You need one tree specifically for all of that. There are quite a bit of uh, ornaments for Harry Potter, which is really cool. Look at that, they even have like the house ribbons oh, that, that you can put on the tree. They've got house stockings too. Oh, I think we should get some of these. We do need stockings, like actual stockings that like match and go together. But you mean I like the five or six stockings that we have that some don't have our name on it and some do have our name on it. And what? We just hang them up. We have one stocking like that. Josh is being dramatic. I like this little letter one. Oh, that's cool. They need a talking one. They sure do. Taylor always really wants to buy the Christmas Village stuff, especially the stuff that is <gasps> They have Harry really Potter. nice Harry Potter Christmas Village. But I keep trying to convince Taylor that the best way to go is with the Legos. They're so much better. They look so much cooler. Yeah, because you want an excuse to be able to buy it. Exactly. And then display it. So we got this full Harry Potter Christmas tree right here. And I think we're just gonna buy it and take it like the Grinch does and ornaments and all. <laughs> it's pre-assembled, which is pretty. Right, it echoes Whoa. in the dome. Did you hear that? Oh there, my God. There's a dome in here and you echo if you're standing inside oh of it. Oh my God, that's crazy. No, but yeah, uh, we'll just saran wrap it and carry it out. Right. It'll be fine. Yeah, so Taylor and I actually haven't really eaten any dinner. Um, I think we, intentionally or unintentionally did plan to eat some food while we were over here and i mean not that like it matters that they have mardi gras because obviously mardi gras is going to disappear yeah this weekend um but it is nice to like kind of get to try some new stuff that we haven't tried before yeah. here I don't so know if we're gonna get any margarita or <laughs> i don't know what? what i was trying to say a rapist Mar margarita a, a rapist how okay, about those so. those are really good i think uh, we might come back and get those geez. mardi gras is what I was trying to say. I was thinking Margaritaville for some reason. All right, so we're gonna look inside the tribute store because- Better late than never. <laughs> it's kind of like a traditional thing now. Uh, for everything. Yeah, the universal- All year Canada. round. You know, it started with Halloween Horror Nights and now we've got for everything. Yep. So, looks pretty cool. I'm always afraid to like walk in hallways at Universal. Because you never know. 
bomber jacket. Oh, I have become quite the fan of bomber jackets. Sale only eighteen dollars. Is that real? Yeah. I guess because the season's like almost over. I bet. I mean, I hate to say it, but I think I might have to get one. Can you hold that for a second? Oh my. You need to try it on. Oh, it's super thin too. All right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I am a uh, purveyor collector. What's the back look like? There's something on the back. Oh, cool. Yeah, 17 bucks. You cannot beat that. <laughs> Mardi Gras candles, only six dollars. Five bucks for the wine glass. Wow. That's bizarre. Oh, the shaker. Oh, I love that. Five bucks for a cocktail shaker. Oh, it's I know, but still, I mean, like, that's cool. Mardi Gras socks. I do actually like to collect socks like this. I think they are pretty cool. Hats, eight bucks. I mean, what on earth? Jacket. Let me throw it on. Let me I get a picture right here real seen quick. I've sales <laughs> like this at a theme park. Me either. <laughs> Bush Gardens, maybe. Maybe. As we begin to make our way into the showroom, which is the last room normally, uh, it almost feels like they're having a, a going out of business sale uh, with everything being uh, so discounted, which is really cool for us. Obviously, that's not true, but I mean, they have to get rid of it because it's the end of the Mardi Gras season. But Yeah, especially if it's dated. Right. Oh, look at that. They've got shaker cake, cookie Mardi Gras uh, macarons, cookie dough balls, chocolate dipped bacon. Good treats. I need some real food though. First. I know. Yeah, so super crazy. Not only uh, is there a discount, right? That the merch is already discounted. Yeah. But uh, on top of that, they still let you use your AP discount. So I saved another almost $2.50. Oh, check this out. We've got more people coming. Oh, they were hanging out with those guys. The Space Force is coming through. Look the Space it. Force. Wow, interesting. Okay. That's new. Never seen that before. Taylor just missed some good photo ops over there. That's okay. Space Force characters. Oh my gosh, I just realized that this is supposed to be after the Fishman's Wharf in San Francisco. We were there. We were there. This doesn't yeah. remind me at all of Fishman's Wharf in San Francisco. But we only went to that one little teeny tiny spot. I mean, I guess we so. didn't really walk around. Still. It was freezing the day we were in San Francisco. Oh, it was cold. <laughs> Alright, so Taylor and I are coming into Diagon Alley, and of course any trip to Universal is not complete without a trip into Diagon Alley. But today, um, we're actually, I'm trying to make something that's a little bit more unique uh, for a Reels video, TikTok video, whatever you want to call it. Um, and to do that, it needs to not be so busy because I need to be able to have um, what's called a blank plate, basically. Right here. With that's nobody cool. in it. Um, and I don't know that we're going to be able to do that. So we're going to kind of walk around and if we can make it work, eventually you guys will get to see it, which I think will be really cool. And uh, we'll see. Here we go. I forgot my wand. It is uh, super busy, and Taylor forgot her wand, which was kind of a necessity for what we're doing. But it'll still work. I'm gonna make it work uh, either way. So I was just laying on the ground to get a photo of Taylor. You're welcome, box lunch. <laughs> I'm not sure. I won't know for sure for my part until I get back to the editing room to actually look at it and see. But. Well, we got the photos though, and like. Normally, it takes a long time for Josh to get exactly what I'm imagining, and he he laid down on the ground, which like really did the trick, I think. And when he handed me the camera, I was like, "That's it." And I didn't even have to like reposition or repose or get Josh to do anything different. I'm quite excited about it. <laughs> so I just walked in, like on my phone, not paying attention, and I see Josh looking at the robes. What house are you? You're not Slytherin. You're Gryffindor. Listen, I can pick whatever house I want. No, that's not how this works. Actually, the sorting hat tells you that you can pick whatever house you want. You can ask. <laughs> Josh is technically a Gryffindor, and I'm a Ravenclaw. I was just looking for the price tags, but they took all the tags. They took all the pricing off. They did? 
The robes are $139. $139. There you go. Are they heavy duty? Oh, wow. Yeah, they are. No, okay. No, you do this. You do this. You pick and choose which house you want to be based on which merchandise you like. Because you've got a Gryffindor Christmas sweater. You've got a Ravenclaw hat. And then you're one of Slytherin Rope. Oh, all compliments of Boxlands, by the way, which is not a sponsor of this video today. <laughs> but they do have some awesome pop culture stuff. That's where we get a lot of it. <laughs> Yeah, well, the thing is, is that Taylor and I are going to start doing some other things as far as like photography and videography goes. So I really want, like, I, I kind of really want to get into a little bit of like cosplay stuff. Not really? Like, yeah. Really? Not, not, Those not, are words I listen, never thought would come out of your like, mouth. Listen, not like <laughs> crazy cosplay. I don't have anything against people who are over the top, but you know, like simple stuff. Bro, glasses. A lot. What do you need glasses for? Harry Potter is not. Slytherin. Listen, there's a multiverse of Harry Potter where he goes into Slytherin? Slytherin and becomes the most evil Harry Potter ever. The, the greatest villain that ever lived. We are going to ride Escape from Green Guts, assuming that all of my stuff fits into a locker. So we'll, we'll see. All right, a rather successful ride on Escape yeah, from on Green Guts. And what's I always love nice. Riding that. <laughs> well, the other thing that's really nice is that you don't have to wear a mask in there anymore so that oh your my gosh, you can see. glasses don't get all fogged up. It's been a while since we've been over here. Yeah. That was wonderful. But I always I just love the beginning of that every single time we ride it, that first little drop with Bellatrix. Like, I know it's gonna happen, but it's always still such a surprise. <laughs> it always puts a big smile on my face. I totally understand that I am walking and vlogging at the same time. But I'm also looking past the camera so I don't run into people. And it just blows my mind sometimes the younger generation of people. It's not just the younger generation, who, it's everybody. Well, that's all I'm seeing today. Oh no. Who are just like taking selfies and not paying attention at oh. all where they're going. I have been run into today by multiple full grown men that are much taller than me and about have knocked me down. Oh, see, I just like, had like... People are literally just not paying attention today. I just had like six girls who were taking selfies of themselves, like... <laughs> not paying attention. Is that the face they're making, Josh? That's what That was the face that they were making. Oh my gosh. This is why you don't try to leave. When the park's yeah. closed. When, the, when one park closes and the parade just let out on the other side. It's a mass exodus right now. All right, y'all, so we are officially making our way out of universal i think it was pretty successful we didn't really come in with a plan to like ride a bunch of stuff or do no. anything specific it was just nice to kind of be back in the park because we haven't been in here in so long yeah it's been a while so it was nice we kind of got to see a few things that we haven't seen before yeah get some photos get the little video clips we got to ride gringotts which was cool yeah. and uh, we're gonna head home and maybe grab something to eat on the way home because you know it's cheaper and <laughs> it's not so crazy busy yeah. and everything else. So we'll see you all in the next one.